Clearly man's not made to live in grass huts, to live out wild like he used to in harmony with nature in the way that we used to, but still we need to have harmony with nature. We need to keep care of our planet. It's the only alive planet that we know. So we have to take care of it. Definitely need to take care of it. It's part of all of us. And we are part of it. We are its children. So we should be taking care of You know, the Bible says, Honor thy father and thy mother. Thy father is space and time and your mother is the planet here mother earth it comes out that way in religions it comes out that way in life it comes out that way in the stars and it comes out that way in reality so we need to definitely take care of what we're doing to this planet and as we do, we need to find other planets. We're getting to be too populated and putting too much stress on this planet as it is. And we should have already started reaching towards the stars instead of trying to fix that problem from 3,500 years ago, from 1500 BC. It's really just not the direction we're supposed to do is to stand stagnant. Um, you know, there was a dogma before that one and a dogma before that one. These people have beliefs, and each chain of belief brings us to a new evolution in mankind, a new knowledge, a new step in our evolution to get us to the point where we become...